Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kids Short Stories. Right now, I need to make sure that you have smashed the follow button or that subscribe plus sign so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's story comes to us from Logan and Brayden. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidsshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too, let's go! It was a beautiful day in the forest as Logan, Brayden, and their family were camping in a cabin in the woods. Have you ever been inside of a cabin? Like one made completely out of wood. Like there's logs on the walls and logs on the roof. Uh, That's a pretty cool place to go camping in. Because there's all kinds of ways that you can go camping. You could go camping by making a hut with all kinds of sticks and trees and sleeping inside of it. Or you could bring a tent and sleep inside of the tent. Or maybe you sleep in a cabin. There's all kinds of ways to get out in nature. And that is exactly what Brayden and Logan are doing with their family on this trip. And it's about lunchtime, and they are working on their world-famous recipe of quesadillas. Hey, Logan, can you pass me the cheese over there? Said Brayden. Oh, yeah, here you go. Oh, oh, these smell so good, said Logan. They had a secret recipe for these delicious quesadillas that had been passed down from generation to generation. It was definitely the world's most delicious quesadilla and it smelled so good logan and brayden while we wait for these to cool down why don't you uh, get the table ready and maybe even open a window because it's so nice outside we're gonna run out to the car real quick and get a couple more things uh we'll be right back just please have the table ready for us when we get back said their parents got it said logan as he raced over to the windows brayden started clearing the table as they anxiously awaited those quesadillas to get in their mouths. Have you ever had a quesadilla before? Oh, they're so delicious and all this talk about quesadillas. I'm pretty sure I need to have some of that delicious quesadillas coming out of Logan and Brayden's cabin. Hey guys, could you send one my way, please? Well, as the quesadillas were now ready to be eaten, they set them on the table on their plates. And all of a sudden, they heard a very loud sound. (sighs) Ah, Brayden, what was that? Please tell me that was your stomach. Stop joking around, Logan. That was your stomach, right? They both realized that it was neither of their stomachs. If you heard that kind of growling sound, what would you think it was? Then they heard it again. Logan and Brayden realized that that sound was coming from out the window as they turned to look at this wide open window that they had opened to let in that cool air like their parents had asked. (gasps) They saw, it's a bear, yelled Logan. Ah! Logan and Brayden started running around inside their house. They didn't know what to do. The bear was getting closer. Logan and Brayden were absolutely losing their mind. But then Brayden said, wait a second. What about our parents? They're outside. The two boys ran to the front of the cabin and opened up that window and started yelling out to their parents. There's a bear in the backyard. Stay in your car. Don't get out. (coughs) Their parents were honking the horn of the car as loud as they could to try and scare the bear away. Brayden and Logan walked back over to see if if they could still see the bear out that other window. And, holy smokes, Brayden, look at that, said Logan. They could see the bear holding his paws over his ear. It's like he didn't like the sound of the car horn, but it still wasn't scaring him away. Bear! Go away, shouted Brayden, and it was just at that moment that the bear looked up right at 
them. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that somebody was here. I just smelled something absolutely delicious and I, w I wanted to eat it. My tummy is empty. Logan and Brayden's mouths both dropped open. They had never heard a bear talk before. <laughs> Neither have I, so I would probably have the same reaction. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mr. Bear, but you're smelling our quesadillas, and it's it's definitely not bear food. You shouldn't eat it. It's, it's only for people. You should probably get out of here. Oh, but can't I just have a little bit of a taste, please? Brayden and Logan remembered all that they had learned in their forest ranger class. You're not supposed to feed bears people food because that's just not what bears are supposed to eat. It hurts their tummies and it makes them want to steal more people food. So Logan told the bear again, Mr. Bear, you cannot eat our quesadillas. They're our lunch. You need to go eat what bears eat. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I can't remember. Do you guys, do you guys know what bears actually are supposed to eat? Like, what do they like to eat in the wild? Do you have any guesses? Hmm. Well, let me look it up. It says their diet includes roots. That's strange. They eat tree roots, <laughs> berries, fish. Oh, they like to eat. That's right. They they're good at catching fish. Brayden remembered the bear's favorite food. Mr. Bear, why don't you go fishing? I think there's a river over there that's full of some delicious trout for you. Yeah, I, I, I guess you're right. I just, oh, that smell is delicious. But yes, it does hurt my tummy when I eat it. You people food, it's, it gives me stinky poops. And nobody likes a bear's stinky poops. Logan and Brayden couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> oh, you're yes, you're right. Uh, quesadillas definitely make bears have stinky stuff so yes you should go get catch some fish and uh please don't try and eat our food again okay okay and it was just then that the black bear walked away towards the river they called out to their parents who were still honking their horn in the car and said it was safe to come back inside they rushed back inside and hugged both logan and brayden and said are you guys okay? What in the world happened? We saw the bear run away. Did you scare it? Well, not exactly, said Logan. Uh, we just reminded the bear that people food is not good for his tummy and that fish was better. You talked to the bear? Yeah, he, he was actually a pretty nice guy. Once we uh, explained to him that, uh, you know, quesadillas uh, give bears some stinky toots. <laughs> They all erupted into uh, some hilarious laughter, thinking about bare, stinky toots. <laughs> well, this may be the end of the story, but it's just the beginning of their amazing camping adventure. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout out! I want to say hey to Kieran and Ravi from Indianapolis, Indiana, Marley from Kent, Isa from California, Oscar from San Francisco, Eloa from Brazil, Frankie from Kentucky, Ray from Colorado, and Jaden from Tucson, Arizona. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.